Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to see how we can calculate the percentage with respect to grand total and percentage with respect to subtotal. This is a very common thing that actually in our daily practice that we have to do. And for this, actually I have taken a sample data where we have a, a four columns. First is the date, then actual and the target and the category. And the category wise, we have a distribution. Uh, for the sake of uh, demo purpose, I have just taken a one month data, but it can be done on the at a different levels also. So what exactly the objective is? So if you see here, so we have a category and the day I have taken in the rows and the category has a sum of actual is something around 13K. And with respect to, and the total is around 47K. So the, it is nearly 29% of the total. And how we can, we want to see at the same time, how our, this, with respect to subtotal, that is 13,000, 13, how our subtotal looks like. So for example, if I select large, if you see the grand total is 47.81K, the subtotal is 13.96 and the percentage is 29.2 percentage. And at the same time, if you see at the row level for the day one, it is the actual is 532. With respect to total, that is 47K, it is 1.1%. And with respect to within a category that is large, it is 3.8%. Uh, so let's get started how it can be done easily in Power BI and what are the fields are required for these things and what are the measures that we need to create for these things. So the first let gets to a demo sheet. I have already created this table. And first we want to find the grand total. If you see here, uh, what how we can select the total, which is constant irrespective of my filter changes. So it can be done in simple. Uh, if I select here for this, I will be creating a measure, which is create total totals of actually. And the total of actual is nothing but the sum of actual and using the all filter, the all filter, what it does, it does actually, it removes all the current filters and then calculate the sum. So this is how we actually can calculate the sum without without impacting any of our filter. So if I go to demo filter, uh, let's select a card. I have already created this measure, which is total. And if you see, it's forty, uh, it's forty-seven point eight one eight k. Now we have the forty-seven. If I select, if I select the filter large medium, this total will not change. That's why that all, uh, all is uh, helps in the picture. Now, the second thing we want to calculate the subtotal at a category level, which is quite easy actually, which can be done on simple. Let's say if I just select a card and let's select some of actuals since all the filters are selected. So if nothing is selected, these two values should be equal. If anything on filter, then this should value is 13.9k, which is can be seen here. Now, if I go to, now I want to calculate the ratio of these two. So 13.96 divided by 4.86, it's nearly 29%. And this can be calculated by using this measure. So it's nothing but divide the sum of actual target divided by the total, which we have created here. So I've already created this measure and how it looks like you can see. If I go here, if I click here, you see divide sum here. Now let's in, use this in our table to see how much is the ratio looks like. And at the same time, we can use the uh, card also. <laughs> this is what it looks like. So we have the percentages with respect to the grand total. Now, this is the grand total can be calculated directly from the field here itself. But the objective is to show that uh, how we can actually uh, create a measure and then resolve because when the complication will be there, not the complication, this helps to create how we can create a measure and use these things. Now what we want to select, I want to see 532, 532 is how much percentage of my 13.96k. And for this measure, so we need to, uh, whenever, let's say if I select anything, taking a ratio of these things, that will not happen. So we need to an additional uh, uh, measure which will say first numerator that is my sum of totals that sum of actuals then we need to create a, another measure which will calculate the sum of actuals except whatever uh, we have selected in the target okay so we can do it in by actuals also so yeah, i've already created this thing uh, here if you say divide by sum yeah sum of actuals all except in the target and whatever select, selected in the category we need to calculate the sum of that and if i just drag this thing here and if you see now we have 0.4 percent of these things so uh 532 divided by 13.9k it's a 5 percent similarly if i go here if i increase it it's uh, rounding it off if it we want more decimal places we can just go to this thing specific column select the required field and if i just increase if you see now it's 0.6.14 percent so likewise we can calculate the uh, calculate subtotal percentages in this way by using creating these four measures uh, by his measures and it it comes very useful when you are dealing with a very complicated data it helps a lot actually in that place instead of directly just taking in from the format visual we can use that as well hope you like this and it will help you uh, for creating more visuals in power bi follow for more power bi updates thank you so much